I think this guy is the one that is hating a lot on Eldering, right? Yeah, 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 March 2022. <laughs> Let's go. I think this is a guy. He's very pissed at Eldering for no reason. Like, what the hell? Okay. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. Okay, let's see. When real next-gen games come out, you'll be a footnote in a couple <laughs> of months. Guy. Nobody will even talk about this game. <laughs> what? Ever even mention it when we talk about the greats of this generation. Almost a year later and we're still here playing it. <laughs> no game of the year. No real champion. Just bare minimum. This is not a good game. It is not a 10 out of 10. Wait. No way is it anywhere near game of the year. Game of the year winner <laughs> is... Elderly. That's what I thought. <laughs> what the That's hell? What I That's what I Jesus up, Christ! Did it do it on purpose? And today, you smell what the Act Man's cooking? It's more terrible gaming hot takes. Oh God! <laughs> oh, you ever take okay, a fat dump says. on your steak before throwing it on the grill? No. That's what it smells like. So let's <laughs> jump into it. All right. What do we got today? Remember when mm. video games had bare titties? Because why not? God of War used to be a series worth playing. Now Kratos has feelings. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of gay, but hey. Remember when what? Kratos used to jack off at, after he beat every boss, and you would look at some hot porn? Now he's now this motherfucker has feelings. No, I don't have feelings. I mean, look, look. To be honest, okay. The older, the older God of War games were, they were very good games, and we have already said that, that, that but it's just battle, like you only fight, there is no lore, no story, you only fight, you go from one boss to the next boss. The new, the new God of War games have more like story, you know, it's more story, it's... I don't know. It it's not that slice like slice and dice, you know, slash everything game anymore. It's just it has more story and lore behind it. So I guess like this is different. Thanks for coming. But that that doesn't mean it has feelings. Like he was like a very angry, very angry Kratos on the first three. Coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help. Yeah, as okay. Long as I am able. God, what a pussy. Of course he <laughs> got feelings. That's why he's doing any of the shit he's doing. How do you go from this to this? It's such a downgrade in sex appeal. Game what Freak needs hell? to do better when they make the Like this is what I this is yeah, like Kratos was very, very angry and the whole game, it's like the first three, four games, he was like just an angry Kratos killing everyone and everything with no story and now they they put like more story behind it. But it's still, it's still, it's, they had to put like some, sorry, it wouldn't like go that far, um, like, like what, how it is back then. The new that's Pokemon. It. <laughs> it's different, it's different. I've never played the Pokemon. Sometimes I hate the gaming community. It's a fucking child's game, dude, but it's a child <laughs> game starring children. There doesn't, there needs to okay. be no sex appeal, except for Cynthia and Professor Oak. I will no longer play the characters of Killjoy and Raze and Valorant due to them being homosexual. Ella? There is no way this is not troll. There is no way this is not a troll. Like, what? Do people actually do this? There is no way, dude. This 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 comment must be a freaking troll. <laughs> Thank you for ruining my gaming experience. There is no way. <laughs> He's just like, why did they have to be gay? Why are you gay? <laughs> Why did they have Why? to like vagina Why? instead of pink? Now I cannot play my favorite game anymore. What the hell? There is no way. <laughs> Remember when we could just talk about video games and, and we talked about why they were bad or why they were good? Can we just yeah, go okay. back to that? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't understand why people nowadays have just, just make the whole game. Is it a man? Is it a woman that is a protagonist? Is it the main character is a freaking woman and then they hate it. And then when they say gay, it's like, oh, they're gay. And then when they say like, it's a different race and it's like, oh, this is woke. Like everything is not good anymore. Like nothing works anymore because everyone's so angry about everything. What the Please, hell? Please, no. If this was a Netflix show, Kratos' son would be gay <laughs> and Kratos Afro-American. But since Why? it's Amazon, I think the casting will be good, but the plot will be very disappointing. Boy, do I have news for you about who plays who Kratos. Who plays Kratos? Fucking got him. Game
like why are people so mad you can just like play the game enjoy the game and move forward why does it all have to be about uh, why did they make them gay just shut the hell up Haters. Be like, we need to reduce crunch and development and complain when devs do something that reduces their workload people who okay. complain about crunch are just incels who hate on the last of us part two uh what the hell that's gotta be that uh, that's that's the most obvious troll I've ever seen. Okay, Someone yeah. Someone <laughs> sent me this image up. My love for Blizzard games outweighs my dislike of... Eh? My love for Blizzard games outweighs my dislike of sexual harassment. The sexual assault. The other thing is I don't know anyone personally that was harmed. So I couldn't care any... Huh? What the hell? The, like, do these people think it's it's... Do these people not think before they actually write this on the internet? Like, what the hell? How? It doesn't affect me personally, so I just continue, like, to play the games. What the hell? The other thing is, I don't know anyone personally that was harmed, so I couldn't care any less. Jesus I also pre-ordered those people. games before any of this came to light. I... Where to begin? I don't yeah, know who exactly. on God's green earth could have written this, but they clearly wrote it to justify whatever purchases or, or time they yeah, spent okay, playing Blizzard yeah. games. It's like, you don't have to justify it. Just because some bad shit happened doesn't mean you you are morally reprehensible for playing a game. It's up to you if you want to mm -hmm. boycott the company or not. I, I respect it either way. But, like, you don't have to justify yeah, that exactly. by, by saying, well, I don't know anyone who was sexually assaulted at Blizzard, so... Yep. But then, like, you make it even worse. Like, this guy, by writing whatever he thought he... Like, before he thought, he just typed it and sent it. You make it even worse. You make it even worse because you just say stuff like that. Like, what the hell? Who, who says that? Uh, I'm not personally... I don't know anyone personally, so I just... What? Just play the game without saying anything. What the Fuck hell? Fuck them. What? 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 Ex exactly. What? <laughs> Elden Ring's millennia embodies from software's problems with women. Knock knock. Who's there? Elden Ring's eh? millennia embodies from software's problems with women. How? How? How is now millennia into this? How? How does millennia get into this? What? 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 What, what the hell? What? What? How is millennia problem knock, now? Knock knock. Who's there? Polygon. Polygon who? Poly gonna give you another bad article to read? <laughs> <laughs> Why do FromSoft games always bring out like the worst opinions in everyone? So it talks about Millennia, Blade of Mikola. This enigmatic warrior captured the audience from the moment she appeared yeah, and she featured prominently in the rest of the game's marketing. But instead of becoming an uncontested favorite, she frustrated fans and revealed the limitations of From Software's imagination. Eh? First of all, I had no idea, like, people hated on this game and the characters, like, so much. What the hell? Second of all, how is that lack of imagination? What the? What? I don't understand. This is a critique I have never once heard before. I mean, I've uh, yeah. heard people complain that Millennia exactly. is a hard fight, maybe too hard for yeah, some. Yeah, it's such a hard Definitely fight. Definitely not me. <laughs> but I've never heard someone describe it as unimaginative. Exactly! It like who says that like the whole the whole freaking game is like um self skills like the lore and everything like so much goes into it like how is it unimaginable it's such a I legendary what? iconic boss fight yeah. in the game i think people would complain over everything like, they made a freaking statue of her. Millennia <laughs> exemplifies the way FromSoft writes women in its games. Huh? Whether bosses or NPCs you meet in the wild, these women have a shared condition. They exist in tragically declined worlds. So like every character. Exactly. Like, but the thing is, how does this woman like alone exist? Like they say this woman exists in a declined world, but the whole game is in a declined world. What the hell? <laughs> Like the whole freaking game, the world is shattering. What? So everyone is shattering in the game as well. Like what the hell? Software games <laughs> sharing a specific brokenness, disfigurement, abandonment, and loss. So like every like, character in from software yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Like every single, every single like um, like most of the enemies in Elden Ring is like freaking mutilated, cursed, um. Like Radan, yeah, yeah, everyone, for example, is cursed, and what the hell? Games. What? They are afflicted. How is that? Like, they're afflicted by gender? 
But like, okay, look, I think these people are not gonna be happy like with anything because if you you make a you make Malenia very strong and powerful, they say, oh, you put this woman to be cursed and be um masculine or whatever. But if they didn't, then everyone would be would be saying, oh, now you made her normal. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Why? Afflicted by, by gender. <laughs> how does how is gender coming into this now? Afflicted <laughs> by gender, and the <laughs> cure for when they are obstacles instead of mutely helpful is for the player to enact succinct violence. What the fuck is that sentence? What? Eh? Bad. You killed a bad guy. Bad guy could be a dude, could yeah. be a dude melted yeah. together with a dragon. Bad guy could be a giant knight. Ooh, who is that? Yeah, like he can be a beast, he can be a dragon, he can be a freaking blob, he can be a woman, a man, a, a child. Like, he can be like anything, he can be a boss in the freaking in the freaking games like he can be cursed he can be a spider half spider half human not a child but you get me like he, he can take any form an enemy what the hell what that is that what's that could be that? a chick it could be a dude it's you killed a bad guy the broader yeah, gaming if a community bad guy is usually bad, reacts a bad guy. towards female characters i think just the dumb parts of the gaming community i was gonna say that like how are people hating? Like, people hating on that. And I, the first thing that came to my mind... The first thing that came to my mind is people... People, like, how people reacted when Hades do, like, the trailer release. And they saw that it's um, Zagir's sister this time. Imagine. Or maybe you could change this to say that the broader gaming community usually reacts harshly to poorly written... Wait, what did they say? Like, the comment. Dumb? Female protagonist, hard pass. Sorry, the woke crowd ruined it by shoving it down our throats for the past three years. Past few years by what? The uh, if it's not a woman, then I will not play this game. If it no, sorry, if it is a woman, then I will not play this game. What? But what? What does gender have to? I don't understand why are people so mad with gender like it's a it's a good game it's a good story everyone put so much work into it like the art the design the everything and people just say mm, parts of the gaming woman, community, I wanna play or it. maybe you could change this to say that the broader gaming community usually reacts harshly to poorly written characters but then but again, like, some people also call female protagonists woke, which is also dumb. But that, that's like two sides the of the hell? same stupidity spectrum. It's like, gamers don't like female characters, and having a female character is woke. It's like, they're both equally dumb. Which yeah, makes, exactly. See, they're not they're not happy with anything. Anything! The Soulsborne <laughs> community's embrace of female characters feel positive on the surface, when that attraction feels based on that empty, emotionless state or reduces them. Wait. Wait, wait a moment. Say girls, Emma. But... ...to infantilized waifus, you realize that hostility and that fondness spring from the same deep sexist roots twins what? intertwine. Okay. But how? I think... I think they made them because... Um, I think, you know, like the, um, the part of... The part of these characters, like, uh, f let's say Fia from Elden Ring, the Firekeeper from Dark Souls, Emma in Dark Souls, Emma in Sekiro, I think they're there to just, um, uh, how do you say it? Um, is the, not is the character, like, how do I say it? I, what is the word? I don't, I don't remember the word. Like, to make you feel more, uh, co not comfortable. Uh, how do you say it? Mm, I don't know. I don't remember the way. Okay, so uh, a lot to unpack here. Uh, what I will say is the article's very... Like, for one character, for one to be nice and loving, that's what I want to say. Like, for a character to be nice and loving, since you are out there battling so many enemies, I think that's their role into the game. Very well written. It has big words. I'm not saying it's good or I agree, but, you know, homie's been reading a thesaurus. But like, how From Software writes women. I mean, firekeepers, yeah, they're kind of similar, but you can make that point. But they're all yeah. like motherly figures ah, to, that. to yeah, yeah, represent yeah. the comfort yeah. of the hub zone. Exactly. The comfort. He said it. He said it. The, he, they give comfort to the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. 
exactly that. I could not remember it. I could not make the word in my brain. Uh, which are typically an escape or refuge from yeah, the yeah. harsh environments outside. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the harsh what? environment. <laughs> yeah, it helps to have someone like like mother you and cradle you. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Uh, exactly. The mothering figure. I'm not like, sure exactly what the point that. is or why I don't know how to phrase Blade it. of Mikola oh is used as an example. Oh this article comes across like a, a kid fresh out of college who's trying to prove yeah, themselves okay. with what they think are mind-blowing assertions, but it's really just a bunch of dumb shit. From software's female characters who deviate from this quiet doll-like appearance are still written with a lack of emotionality, which feels close to masculine <laughs> stoicism. Okay, so we can't have strong female protagonists because it What? Okay, so yeah, you cannot be uh, you cannot be having anything. If you're having uh, a normal if you're having like a, a sensitive female, then there's gonna say it's a sensitive female character. If you have a strong op strong like very strong female character then it's a very strong female character it's, what, that's what too masculine hell? is that, what, is is that what you're saying what why am i reading this soulsborne games are infamous for challenging their audiences and over the years have attracted a particular kind of player base often men oh no oh no he got me oh no he just they got me guys <laughs> guys guys now that i've been caught it's time to tell you the truth i'm a man because these games only attacked men. Exposed. <laughs> Guys, the truth is out now. You know everything about me. <laughs> Why are you, what are you even upset about? What are you, what are you butthurt about? I don't get it. Millennia's boss fight is punishingly difficult and the audience's hostility and competitive attitudes about it are often steeped in gendered toxicity. How? Numerous Reddit- Eh? <laughs> What? So, so that article means like these games bring out gender toxicity. So like, uh, like men have to be uh, hostile to women because of the boss, because of millennia. What the hell? The post YouTube. <laughs> maybe, maybe this whole post is a troll. Maybe the post is a troll. I don't. Maybe, maybe it is a troll. Maybe it's for reactions. Maybe it's ah. Uh, maybe it's for reaction. Videos content. and tweets talk about players' maybe. failures or successes while littered with sexist slurs. And, and one of these links goes to a search result on Twitter for millennia comma bitch. What is the, <laughs> how can you be so good with words yet so dumb? People also fell back into the usual community discourse about which okay. methods of beating her were more valid and which ones made you a pussy. What? You just summon, you just summon a mimic. It's not, it's no shame in that, no shame. No shame in, um, yeah, okay, some people are very, um, you know, they think you you only need to beat the game with uh, with no summons and no, no heals, level 1, no strength, no HP, nothing. But this is only a few games that are, like, want to challenge themselves, not everyone. Let me, leave my mimic alone, man. And success leave over her alone. took on a weird masculinized chest beating at times. <laughs> I'd be ready. <laughs> no summons. <laughs> the mimic. No. Not the mimic. Bring my mimic <laughs> back. <laughs> me have the biggest penis. Women <laughs> suck. Is that what you think we are? Is that what you think we're doing? When faced with a... I started on those summoners. <laughs> difficult, defiant woman who has never been beaten. Men cannot help but fantasize about being the one to take her down. Eh? Is hair is hostile and taunts the player. When faced with a difficult, defiant woman who has been never been beaten, men cannot help but fantasize about being the one to the one. <laughs> this is fake. There is no way this is an actual article. There is no way. I think they did it for... Uh, there is no way someone thinks like that. There is no way you see a female boss in a game and think that it is there to make men think that they have to to, to fantasize about beating her and being the one that puts her down. What, what the hell? She's a strong boss and she's a challenging boss and that's why people like... It, trying to like you know you get satisfaction over beating her because she was a challenge challenging boss what 
Or, or maybe heck? someone just wants to beat the hard boss. Cause yeah, exactly. Anyone can post an article and earn the win. It's a hard boss. Yeah. Why is it? Why is it men? Women exactly. can like these games too. You jack off. Yeah, exactly. I just want to beat the hard boss. So I can, because it's challenging, and I feel good when I beat the hardest boss, you know? Women continue to populate the path as either passive help meets or predictable obstacles, which the fan base is all too happy to step over. I feel like every single complaint this person has or point they're trying to make could be applied to men as well. They either help you or they don't. Yeah. Speaking of Elden Ring, what it recently hell? won game of the year. Yeah, let's go! And you go. know who wasn't too thrilled about <laughs> that? Hey, yo, so the, the Game Awards... <laughs> He's back! He's back. Just. He's back. He's back. Ended, and Elden Ring took game of the year, and you can see it in his face. He is still so salty about it. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't know how a game that the didn't fire. have any memorable characters that anybody could bond with. Someone must extinguish. The oh my God, this is so good. I love it. <gasps> my oh. I am Melania, Blade. Of Amazing. I'm gonna the only thing this game had was difficulty, and if you add an easy mode, half the player base would disappear, but okay, whatever, yeah. That what do you mean if you add an easy mode? Just get a mimic. Just get the mimic. He gets beaten, you attack the boss. Easy. There is no, there is, there is no need for an easy mode. I found my easy mode and it was Mimic. That's game of the year. Oh my God, dude, he's so butthurt. Why are you so butthurt about it? The further we get down the years, it's just not gonna be what people are expecting. It's not gonna continue that same energy, bro. But what hey, you, you made this One prediction later. like 10 months ago when it came out and you were wrong as shit. <laughs> you were so wrong. No You're game so of the angry. Year, no real champion just bare minimum when real next gen games come out you'll be a footnote in a couple of months nobody will even <laughs> talk about this game game ever even year? mention it when, when we talk about the greats is. of this generation elder ring that is a fact when the next generation cycle is said and done don't forget it and remember i said it on this day i'll yeah. take things that we remember see this he remembered you and now Oh, you're exposed. It aged poorly for 500. Yeah. Let's see what happens it's in 2023. Pretty. How many of these Souls players will still be playing that game? Probably. What do you mean? 2023, how many people will still playing this game? They will be playing this game because there are many people that actually like played Dark Souls still. But even though it's like from 2016 or something, but there are more Souls games coming out and people like Souls games. We fucking yeah. zero, but okay, let's play the game. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, it was, okay, it was game of the year this year, but what about 2023, huh? Hmm? What about next eh? year? Is it gonna, is it gonna be game of the year then? And, uh, you know is what? It? Take your victory laps, have your fun. Take your victory laps, baby. We got the W. We got it. Look at that. That's the freshest dub. We live with the 2022 W, Ever. please. Whatever, Elden Ring game of the year, but we all know what happened, man. It ain't really a game of the year. It, it, it ain't really a game of the year. It was, but you... It ain't real. Yeah, it's not Nobody's real. Gonna be it's not actually. It was all fake. It was all fake. The whole, the whole, um, the whole uh, voting and the whole game awards was all fake. Be playing that game, bro. The game has already lost traction. It's already losing players. Well, at least you stopped telling people to kill themselves. Let's hear more of uh, Mr. TV's reaction. Okay, maybe he's doing this for reaction. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe this, the, like, the, the first, the, you know, the other guy. Now, as far as game awards and all that other stuff, I've had mm -hmm. a lot of fun trolling a lot of the Elden Ring players. I think for me, How it's did he been troll a, them? a very fun experience, I would say. <laughs> Has it? You guys literally sound like, like, abuse victims, right? <laughs> what? It has been pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't fun for a bit, but, but... It is now. The biggest thing is just how easily they offend. They kind of make it easy to farm them for views. And I can say <laughs> that shamelessly because they shamelessly attack other people that don't want to play the trial and error simulator that is their game of the year, which is fantastic. But it kind of like, leads me into like the game. Of like if you like the game, you can play it. You can try it and refund it. But if you don't like that game, you just don't have to play it. Like why? Why would anyone be mad if like a person like, why would everyone be mad if, like, a person do doesn't like Souls games, for example? Like, why would anyone attack this person? Like, it's just preference. The awards kind of was rigged. 
Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, we all know the true winner was my reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. It was, it was either going to be Dad of War or Elden Ring because- But these are the two top that's games. Two, those are the two most popular games right But how is it rigged then? Because they were the top two games. So it's between those two games then. Now, what? And the thing that held Dad of War back is it just didn't launch as early as Elden Ring to move as many units to pick up Come as on. much press no. or whatever. And Wasn't God of War Ragnarok like one of the fastest selling PlayStation games ever made? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it was. I was pretty much like... But what I think, maybe it's different. This God of War was a continuation of the, of the previous God of War, no? So maybe that's why it was easier like for many people to start Elden Ring because it's a fresh game. It doesn't continue anything. It's like a fresh, fresh game. So maybe it was easier for them to start playing start playing like Elden Ring instead of God of War because it's a fresh game and they don't have to and it's also on PC too. Like God of War wasn't on PC, like the the Ragnarok, right? It wasn't. So maybe that's why it was easier for people to get into Elden Ring like, and yo, this God game of War. Because it's a single game. It's like a new game. No previous, no sequel, nothing. Kind of sucks. I fucking hate it kind of maybe, thing. Maybe. And then I saw the response that I was getting on my initial review. A lot of the people that were attacking were a lot of the socially awkward weirdos. Look at all these socially awkward what? weirdos that like Elden Ring and attacking me because they don't have social skills. They have no family. No friends, <laughs> no life. I'm never gonna like the game no because I think, frankly, it would not have killed the developers to have respect for new players. Like, it takes two seconds to add a difficulty toggle. It takes two seconds but to add a difficulty toggle. You don't have. It's not two seconds. It's like a whole freaking development issue. But still, like, what the. What the, the, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Retool every encounter and just lower the numbers. That's it. Somebody who has an easier life, who doesn't maybe have so much bullshit to deal with, they're they're not gonna <gasps> care. They're gonna be, oh gosh, you're giving me a challenge. I live a boring life. Fantastic. My life is so boring. What? But what? You can still like playing games doesn't mean like you can't have like a normal life and just come back home and like do like play some game what what, what 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 is that what is he saying maybe he's just farming reactions i don't know it sounds crazy to me. me in the ass with the elden ring gamers that like try to troll or whatever from time to time and and from me i am an adult and i do have responsibilities outside of youtube and outside of video what? games and all this other stuff so people when they hear that they just sometimes when they don't have those things it's a disconnect for them they're like what do you mean you're busy with other stuff He's still basically reiterating the, if you like this game, yeah. you probably have no family, exactly. no friends, no life. He's he's still saying the same shit, dude. So I think like, I don't understand. Has this guy even played the game? Like, he plays games, he likes uh, God of War or something, so maybe he played this. So that means he's calling himself out too, huh? Hmm? <laughs> What the hell is he saying? It doesn't make sense. That's the first problem. The second problem with Elden Ring, I think, is the graphics. Ah, oh, shit. Eh? Here we go again. The graphics are dog shit. <laughs> the graphics oh, are so mesmerizing. I love it. Are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. In the beginning, like, when I first started Elden Ring and I was playing it, and I was So he has played the game. So you had time out of your life, huh? To play the game, huh? You just expose yourself. You are one of us. One of the socially awkward, no life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you're one of us too. You, you are calling us like that. But now, you expose yourself. I was like, man, this game kind of sucks. And then once I saw... <laughs> My guy exposed himself having a terrible PC and playing playing the game on poor graphics. <laughs> a bunch of 16 year olds, 17 year olds, 21 year olds, 25 year olds. Like, oh, get <laughs> How's one go? 25, let's go. Let's like, go. Screw up. I was like, okay, I see what this is. This is a bunch of kids living with their parents. This is what they do to challenge themselves outside of taking out the trash. <laughs> but my guy, you bought the game to play it too. What? Why does this guy think like only kids play games? But you play the two. I don't understand. He like is calling other people out and like not calling them out. I don't know how you say that or how you would explain it. Like he is bashing other people. But 
What? He's doing the same thing. Bro just can't stop. Just can't just stop. He's very angry. Shade. Stop very it. Angry. You guys will see. It'll be very fun for me next year. More TVs. You guys helped us fund Quantum TV by literally just trolling. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this video about the Game Awards or how much money you make? Everybody who has been coming on and who have been ratioing, it's like, You've really done nothing but like literally just put money in my pocket, bro. Like, I think this guy's just farming, you know, farming reactions, farming because he is going viral and he's farming like all the people's reactions and making people mad means more views and more comments. I, I don't understand because it sounds crazy to me the things he's saying. Like he cannot not be a troll, you know? All day. I can't watch anymore. When uh, GTA 6 was announced and they said they were going to have a female protagonist, again, people just kind of like lost their shit for no reason. And, you know, this is this is kind of where I draw the line when they start saying that Rockstar, the Rockstar Games, out of all okay. companies, is going to start being woke. So this will be GTA 6, the woke edition. Bro, game's oh, not even out. It's got a woman in it. How is that woke? Now, if they start I saying uh, we're trying to be more politically correct in gta 6 then maybe we can start going down that woke route bro i mean i would i would be shocked if rockstar of all companies went woke or if they were like nope you can't you can't kill hookers anymore can't kill women you know it's no dude rockstar games have <laughs> only men <laughs> I don't understand. Why are people so mad because of a female character, like main character in a freaking game? I always push huh? the boundaries. They, they fucking, they do whatever. Like, when I play games, I just don't see if it's a human, a, a shade, a ghost, a, a, a female, a male. A, a, no, like, I don't, I don't see that. I just play the game. If they, if they picked, like, a certain character to be, like, to have that storyline then i'm just gonna go with it like i'm gonna play the game and enjoy the game just how, how do people like enjoy these games if the only thing they see is that and they're angry with everything whatever they want and they get away with it and they always have and they always will female pro tag hard pass <laughs> sorry the woke crowd ruined it by shoving it down our throats for the past few years bye okay it's like design. yeah you can make fun of woke stuff. It does get annoying and tiresome, but that fucking millennia article is kind of right sometimes. Like, like what? dumbasses just don't like female protagonists for whatever reason. I yeah, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand Dude, why calling, exactly. Calling everything sexist is just as cringe as calling everything woke. Can we yeah. agree on that? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no one is happy with anything, anything. Can we, can we at least? But like try to have some like reasonable like okay like um the what's it called like companies are trying to like they're trying very hard to have like uh, uh to include everyone okay but everyone keeps like keeps like bashing them about it but it's good that companies are trying to um to include and be more um uh, more thoughtful of stuff like that, you know? Well, common like, sense. No. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet criticism makes money. There are still a large number of people that are shitting on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the Nintendo Switch in general. Yeah, I know. I Believe it or this. not, it's pretty crazy that they're milking the hell out of shitting on Nintendo. Why? But hey, content's content. Content's content. It's a yeah, bad it's, game. It's YouTube, man. Something bad? Hey, look, that thing's bad. Here's my video on it. Something's awesome? Hey, that thing's awesome. It's like, it's like, you never actually play the game, but before it comes out, you criticize it. It's like, it's, it's a bad game. Easy. Or like, you, you should be a, or like, you start a game, you start a game, and then instantly, like, after beating one boss, you're like, mm, this game is not it. This game is not it. <laughs> Here's my video on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we make videos. <laughs> These experts. Like imagine you beat Grafted Cyan the first time you join into Elden Ring and you think like, oh, this game is poop. This I just beat the first boss of the game and now we have to talk about it. We have to talk about how bad this game is. <laughs> what the hell? These these social <laughs> media influencers, these YouTubers, uh, they they have no merit. They have no ground. No merit, no ground. Um, I showed the gameplay of Scarlet and Violet. I think it speaks for itself. 
that's that's my merit. I've, pl I've played Pokemon since Red and Blue, literally since the 90s. There are people who've gone out and played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet after knowing it was a massive glitchy mess, knowingly paid $60 for this game, and then turned around and spent hours on a review just to shit on it. They weren't sent a pre-copy, they weren't sent a copy but ahead of time. But to be honest, like glitches and stuff are gonna happen with new games. Uh, people no? that get pre-copies don't shit on games like that. What? So you're upset that people are making bad reviews of a game like a month or two after it came out. Well, genius. Not everybody shits out a video in one day, okay? Sometimes yeah, it okay, takes yeah. time. Maybe I don't want to play the game right away. Maybe a buddy convinces me. They weren't sent a pre-copy. They weren't sent a copy ahead of time. They didn't buy the game, play it day one, and make a review, and it was out within the first week. What does the timing have to do with anything? Of course people are going to be negative. It's like it's the internet. These are individuals who will literally go out... But, like, also you can, like, have the game... Of, like, let's say Elden Ring, for example. I bought Elden Ring the moment it came out, but I only played that in November. Like, it, it can take, like, like it depends on when you play it. Like, you can just review it anytime. That doesn't mean it's old or whatever. But, like, you should finish the game first and then review it. Buy the game just to make content on it because it's trendy. Why is it trendy? Is it not? because the game looks like this? Because... Because that might be a good reason. <laughs> when they, what when is they happening? do these videos on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Nintendo uh, and the Nintendo Switch and just shit all over it. Say, oh, it's so underpowered. It's so garbage. It's so junk. It, it makes me think to myself. Well, like, I don't understand. Why do people hate, like, if someone, like, wants to buy the game because it's new and it's gonna be talked about and you view it, like, what, why is that bad? Well, no, what? you know, this isn't a day one thing, so why are you doing this? Remember, fellas, you can only criticize a game if you played it day one and reviewed it in one day. First, like, <laughs> I bought the game, I didn't play it for a bit, and then I played it, and then I was exactly, like, Exactly, oh, me with Elden Ring. This is really bad. So I made a video on it. It ain't that But Elden Ring What do you game? It just took me, like, how many months is it? It came out February or March. And it's like March with March, April, May, June, July, August. It took me so many By months to play it. $60 on a game. A month later, after the game is released, will you gain views, you gain content? Why would you make a video, a review? Why would you give a company $60 of your hard-earned money? Why would you spend $250 because you to $300 try it, on what? a game console when you know, one, it's extremely underpowered? Why would I spend money on a game console? What? Because it's... Because I bought it five years ago. You've had plenty of time in advance to know about the exact product you're purchasing. You still do it all. You do all of it. And then turn around and spend hours on a review just to shit all over it. Why did I, why did I spend money on a game to review it? Because I'm not going to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> His face. <laughs> yeah, why? Why would you buy a game to play it, huh? Why? Me. Well, folks, it's been an interesting year, hasn't it? That is We've so seen good. a lot of great video games and a lot of bad hot takes. That's about all I can handle right now. I'm going to go get some bleach and pour it into my eyes now. Oh, so God. thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe this guy was to the so Act great. Man for more I love awesome him. content. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the Act Man signing out. Peace. He's very good. He's very good. I like him. He's very funny. Very funny.